for being here. I think this is a really important day. Um, Clark, thank you as well. Uh, I, I'm going to talk briefly about our mission and, uh, and why we're here. Clark is, obviously Clark's a famous YouTube guy with over 110 million views. He is best man in this wedding. His adopted sister Layla is maid of honor. And of course we have amazing Grace and Daniel here that are going to uh, get their vows uh, tied today, tonight, and uh, Karen's our pastor. But, um, not this Karen, but Karen. Um, I want to get serious for about three minutes and explain to you our mission. And our mission is very simple. Clark, can you just, just give me a couple minutes, buddy? All right? Um, you'll, you'll get on camera soon. So, our mission is twofold. One is to promote pet adoption. Now, through the Animal Aid, I want you to know something very important. We are not animal advocates. We are animal lovers. Everyone in this community pays for their own trips to get these animals adopted. They pay to get a neuter. No one makes a salary. We do it because we love it. And we love our animals. Um, what's very interesting about the United States is that this year alone, over 20 million people will bring a pet home. And sadly, less than 30% will adopt. Now, people may tell you that it's a supply and demand issue, that there's too many dogs and cats out there, and therefore, we have to put them down. That's not true. We can adopt our way out of killing our animals. It is that simple. If 20 to 30% of the people that bought pets instead of adopting, the United States would be a no-kill country. That's where we want to be. So, through this amazing Grace Caravan, we are promoting an adoption. We're going down to Georgia, we're bringing back over 100 dogs and cats, and we're finding them homes. Now, the United States is a country which I believe has no borders. Any dog or cat that needs a home is a dog that needs to be safe. Um, so, please, if you're looking for a pet, if you're one of those 20 million people, consider adoption. Now, number two, I'm here because I'm pissed off. And I'm, I know there's children here, but I'm really upset that the United States gases our animals. Um, it's, it's dumb. They don't, yes. Okay. For those of you, okay. they, I'd be furious too if I was one of these dogs. But in 31 states right now, what is happening is they're putting dogs and cats in gas chambers. Now, it's done because it's, it's fairly easy. They can obviously put down more pets at one time. It's a set it and forget it type of method, which is extremely inhumane. And I've read what happens to these dogs that go in chambers and, and these cats, and it's not an easy way to go. Now, you think about our criminals in the United States. When they are put down, they are not gassed. Yet, our animals are, dis are disposed as they were old toys. They're put in chambers and put down. 50% of the animals that end up in a shelter this year will be put down. So, if it's done, we want it to be done as humanely as possible. Now, that brings me to the story of Amazing Grace. Now, Grace is here because in 2006, she was put in a gas chamber in Georgia. When the gas chamber was open, surprisingly, Grace was still alive, and Linda, who was one of the control officers, felt awful and brought Grace to a vet, and Grace was saved, and she's with us here today. Now, because of Grace, and because her story got out there, there's something called Grace's Law, which in 2010 banned gas of animals in the state of Georgia. Now, that brings me to Daniel the Beagle, who we all know because uh, in October of 2000. 12, or 2011, I'm sorry, Daniel faced the same fate that Grace did. And Daniel was put in a gas chamber in Alabama with 18 other dogs. All 18 dogs unfortunately passed, but Daniel survived. And Daniel was adopted out uh, by this gentleman, Joe, who is uh, who's there. And um, unfortunately, Alabama has not passed the law, but because of the recognition of what's happening with Daniel, uh, the, the most spring, they're trying to ban it in Alabama. Our goal 
is to create a buzz and to make sure the United States becomes a no-kill country through gas chambers. Now, it doesn't take millions of dollars. It just takes a petition signed that we pass to the United States government, to the Secretary of Agriculture, and tell him that in order for us to approve him and what's happened in the United States, we want this outlaw through the country. All we need is a signature and, uh, and your support. Again, we are all volunteers here, and we're doing it because we love animals. Now, I'm going to introduce uh, Miss New Jersey for a very important song that is actually dedicated to Grace. Uh, if Lindsay could come up here, and we're all going to let her sing this tribute to Grace. Early 